here is an example of how this plays out and you're going to be so interested in this this is on team vegan takes you youtube right check out this i hope it plays if not i'll add it in afterwards it looks like something's happening yeah we're stuck okay so no here it is here it is i'll entertain you while we're waiting for it to go sometimes i feel so good when i wake up every day with my fruit sometimes i feel so good when i wake up with my fruit Hi everyone, Here I want to share the results of my right. vegan blood, blood test, blood test with, you. with you. The MCH. Right, I'm going to go back and we've gone past the results of my vegan blood, blood test with you. There. Okay, so see here, triglyceride, 277, it's in the high ranges, right? And that's what he's pointing out. And it says here, vegan blood test results, high, drug, high triglycerides is a high carb, low fat vegan, WTF. Right, so he's, he's shown this, and it, you know, it's, it's going to make people feel like, oh my God, you know, I've put on, I'm going to get triglycerides as well. And indeed, Liz comes in and she says, Dr. McDougall says that eating lots of fruit may elevate triglycerides in some people, worth looking into, as he, he is a medical doctor and recommends a high carb, low fat vegan diet, right? Oh, okay, I listen to him. Thanks for the reminder. That's good to keep in mind. Since the blood test, I've been keeping my intake of fruit high, but have cut out nearly all the sugar and simple carbs, like white bread, whole grains of flour. Yet for another 10 weeks, I still have high. I still have high trigs. It may be the fruit, right? I hope not, because I love fruit. Now, if you click through to YouTube, same video, but I want the comments. Right, I'm doing all this live, so you know. Can you say more about the diet you eat leading up to this? Is it 50% raw, raw till four, not raw at all, 80, 10, 10, 95, five? Do you need yours, nuts, seeds, grains? Great, great question. Thank you for asking that. Look at this. Great questions. I was around 50% raw with my ratios between 80, 10, 10, 95, five. At the time, I also consumed quite a bit of sugar in some foods. I drank a lot of sweetened bottled juices, right? and coconut water with added juices. Most of the drinks I had during the day were sweetened with, with sugar or high fructose corn syrup, right? And it talks about the cooked carbs he had, but there it is there, hiding away. Heart sweetened with sugar or high fructose corn syrup, hiding away. This is what's going on behind the scenes. Look here, what the fuck? Is it the fruit? Maybe it's the fruit. No, it's not the fruit. It's high fructose corn syrup in the sweets and bottled drinks that you're drinking. That's what makes people fat. If I was slim, people would believe me. They really would. <laughs> okay, I think that's everything I wanted to cover there. Um, I would say in summary that there are no long-term fat fruitarians. There are no long-term fat high fruit eaters. There are none. What happens between now and then, I have no clue. I don't even know what's gonna to happen to me, right? But it may be a few years in. You've gotta ask yourself, what's more important? Getting all those antioxidants in your body, smashing in all those antioxidants, all those vitamins, all that liquid with your food, having high water content foods every day, right? Looking more beautiful, looking more vibrant, glowing skin, uh, thick hair just like mine, all these other benefits that are gonna happen. Or do you wanna chase the weight dream and smash on the, 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 the high carb rice and that trying to lose weight, even if you don't like it. Now, I think McDougal to start solutions great. I'm not knocking it. I'm not knocking it. and and choose whichever one you like all I'm saying is that I wouldn't choose it based on weight for me I've tried all those short-term approaches and all they gave me was short-term failure over the long term 
Short-term results gets me long-term failure. That's my experience with weight loss. Not with every field of study, but with weight loss, short-term equals long-term failure. Short-term success, long-term failure. Short-term chasing results, you gotta go for the long-term, you gotta go for health. So the thing about the, the fruitarian study, the fruitarian lifestyle, not even a high fruit lifestyle, is there are no studies. The reason why there are no studies is because nobody wants to pay for the studies because of what can you make? How can you monopolize the fruit market? If you find something like with starch, you can have the starch solution and la 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 la, but he hasn't even paid for the research. He's not going to. People pay for research when they can get a product to sell. So you're unlikely to see a long-term fruit study, but this is what I'm going to show you here. In 1971, a short-term study by B.J. Meyer was published in the South African Medical Journal describing how lipid profiles and glucose tolerances, lipid profiles, so triglycerides, and glucose tolerances, i.e. diabetes, improved on a particular fruitarian diet. I'm going to read that again. How lipid profiles improved, right? What does it say here? In a... Rotor 4 Festival, triglycerides, in, it stores these tri uh, blood fats, yeah. increases blood flat triglycerides. And what does the only fruitarian study show? Lipid profiles improved, right? Dougal, fruit causes sugar increase in blood in uh, tri triglycerides. The long-term study, the only one, describes how lipid profiles improve, right? What does that research use? Soda. What does this one use? Fruit. What does the soda do? Increases triglycerides. What does the fruit do? Lowers them. Same with the glu glucose tolerances. When you look into these, uh, I've, I've closed the tabs now, I should have kept them open. But um, when you look at those studies, it was saying that, that, that they uh, in, induce insulin resistance in rats, fed soda, but fruit glucose tolerance is improved on a particular fruitarian diet. I won't do the zigzag, but you get the point. An earlier study by Meyer tested a 45 year old teacher who claimed she had eaten only fruits for the past 12 years, who was found to be in excellent health, right? And this is the other one. In a further trial, the study body weights of overweight subjects showed a tendency to level off at the theoretical ideal weight. Do you understand what's being said by Freely and Durian Rider now? In a further trial in the study, body weights of overweight subjects showed a tendency to level off at the theoretical ideal weight. So if you're putting on weight, you're becoming an overweight subject basically. But it says here the tendency is to level off at the ideal weight. Isn't that great news? Isn't that great news? There is no other studies, but you know, the f just relax about everything, completely relax, and eat for health. Eat for health, eat for health, eat for health. Eat for feeling good. Eat for feeling good. Many people say they feel good eating this way. We don't know what we've done. There's not enough study, and Julian Ryder and Freely aren't scientists, and I don't know about any of this, but I trust that a food that I can pick up with my fingers, that I can open and eat without damage to myself or the planet or animals, that's easily accessible, that tells me when to eat it, I can eat, and I can poop out seeds to grow more trees and become part of the whole cycle, isn't gonna make me a big, fat, round lardy, so I can't do that anymore. Right, it's going to make me a fit, lean athlete so I can do more fruit and poop out more seeds and continue, continue to um, contribute to the ecosystem in a positive way. That's the fact. When you eat starch, you're not rice, you're not pooping out rice seeds to grow more, you're just consuming the landscape, right? And you wouldn't even be able to consume that those rices if you didn't have a cooker. Raw till four for me. Is, is, an, is an aid, it's a prop, it's a crutch that enables me to get in as much fruit as I can of my natural diet without binging out because at the night time, in the evening, I've got a mental uh, thing that allows me to have my cooked food. So I've only got to do these eight hour, raw for eight hours. Raw for eight hours, raw for eight hours. I tried for 15 years to go raw for 24 hours and all I did was got fat sick and nearly died. 
right? So I love raw to four. This is why I love it, because I get to get in all those beautiful antioxidants, all those healing foods, greens and fruits, greens and fruits all day. And in the evening, my mind can be like, oh, that's good. We don't have to do this all the time. Uh, let's have some cooked food. So, so basically, uh, my final analysis on that is I'm going to eat fruit. And you can watch my channel and see if I get fat or not. Because I'm going to do it long term. Okay, I love you all very much. I hope that was useful. It's a bit messy, but uh, I wanted to get this out here today. So I've made it. There it is. I don't think fruit's going to make you fat long term. There's a lot of confusion out there because of the stu all the studies are done with triglyceride, with uh, fructose, which sounds a bit like fruit. And then they just say it's fruit. And then there you go. Everyone starts to leverage their own angle using these studies which is kind of what I'm doing here, but I think I'm being more factual because I've shown you that they're not testing it on fruit, they're testing it on soda. This is not a fruit.